Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Inquisitor Pepe. Thank you for your information. What is this? Judgment. This talks about the Elysian Order. Why did we, the Elysian Order, condemn the follower of Mara, who cursed the boy, infected with the Thoracian Plague to death on the pyre? Why did we hang the boy who was saved from his illness? And why did the archmage Cirabane, who treated the plague with Warlock's ring, escape his death on the pyre? We have explained this, min this, we have explained this many times already. The crux of the matter lies in whether they did all of this with the permission of the Order. No matter what kind of miracle, without the permissions of the Elysians, it was not a miracle but hearsay. Heresy, hearsay? Heresy. Unfortunately, that follower of Mara sought no permission for her work, hence why she was sentenced to death on the pyre. In addition, the boy who was saved by the same unauthorized miracle, no, Heresy died for the same reason not. Did not the masses willingly gather firewood for the follower of Mara, and were they not only too happy to throw stones at the boy standing on the gallows? This collective act of citizens is the most decisive proof of the righteousness of the Elysian Order. As for the treatment of the Archmage Cirabane, his usage of the Warlock's Ring, which we recognize as a relic of St. Elysia, for treatment has been approved by the Elysian Order and will be subject to no further questions. Hmm, Warlock's Ring, interesting. Wonder if that's something I should be aware of. Is there anything else here? Slaver's Note, a body in sarcophagus. So apparently this is how I came to this place. Molag Ball transported me here into this sarcophagus. Allegedly to save my life. Now, as I was walking towards the door, I was beckoned by something. Let me take a look. This. The Eye of Maruk. Very similar to Hermaeus Mora in appearance. Alright, I'm going to use this. No dreams will come true in the temple full of deception and falsehoods. The radiance of life, the dream's awakening, dazzles and erases the name. Can you hear the pipe playing in the darkness? Pray and pile up the corpses. Beyond lies the dream, a dream without a dreamer. All right, I'm going to enable the assistance of this creature. Unfilled dreams drown in silence. Madness sets with the moon's blood is thicker than water. Alright, I'm not going to read all of these books. Hmm, <laughs> what Khajiit saw. What is all... Where does the man-ape sleep? What is all this? Are these all the quests that are before me? And this door, I can tell that it leads to Cold Harbor. Here we go. But wait, there's one final thing. Before we proceed. All right, the Math Malatu Priory. 
So that's where I've come from. And this is Cold Harbor. Some might even call it hell. I saw someone walking over here. Hello. Hello, sir. All right, well, whatever then. All right, it looks like there's some sort of church or something here. Oh. Hello. What are you doing? I'm looking for my family's graves, but I can't find them. Well, maybe if you took off that blindfold, it might be a bit easier for you to find them. Yes. Yes. I'm looking for my family's graves, but I can't find them. I'll let you know if I find them, because I don't see that you really have a chance. Would you really? The names yes. on them are Johan, Simon, and Klaas. Please tell me if you find them. Very well. Uh-oh. What? What are these things lurking? In the distance, this can't be good. Is it coming for me? I think that's a Daedroth. But are these creatures friendly? You there. It's not attacking. By Stendar. And who is this? No one I can talk with. Alright, what is what do we have here? Martha's house. People of Grasslands. here of interest. Oh, hello. Hmm, these creatures seem fearsome in appearance, but they're non-hostile. Let's go into Baptiste's house. Imagine the same in this house as the other. The Archer Monk's Dream. you. Vena, it's noisy in here too. We need to find a quieter place. Alright, apparently there's no talking to him. Rusty's blacksmith. What? Yeah. What is that on your head? Hmm? What have you for sale? Take a look. What 
What is this? A wooden paddle? <laughs> Especially effective against undead. Hmm. Crafting materials. He's not carrying anything out of the ordinary. I'll take these lock picks, though. All right. Well, good day. Until next time. Yes. Hello? Newcomer, you're so full of life. That's probably because I'm alive. Do you know how to enter the fort? Take the key from the captain. He's always up in one of the watchtowers. Tell me about the flying worm. A flying Daedrith. How can he even fly with such an unshapely body? Do you know anything about... Milus over there. He doesn't look all right. Avoid him. What kind of person spends all their time talking to a corpse? But even for madmen like him, there is still something like inner peace. He's not quite at peace, though. But you should still not disturb him. Very well. Did you see any other vigilance of Stendar around here? Vigilance? Weaklings like you? No, not like One me. One such tried his luck with the flying worm a while ago. Some screaming was heard, and then, nothing. If you don't want to meet the same end, you should learn your place in this world. Hmm, very well. Alright, so don't talk to me, Liss. Is there anything over here like the graves of... Are you going to attack me? No. Highwayman's General Store. Wait. <laughs> Did the mighty Vigilant also end up in oblivion? What an irony! I thought I so what will it be? You. I hope you have enough gold for shopping, and please refrain from this so-called mercy of yours. You're the one with the eye. What's with all the bandages? I got infected with a mutated Thracian plague. All thanks to you. Every day is full of pain because of you. I'm really grateful to Stendar, damn bastard. What do you have for sale? Nothing interesting, I'll say. Let me get rid of... I don't need these things. Hopefully our paths will not cross again. of Shea Gorath. That's interesting. Alright, 
I don't know who this is that hung themselves. This is this uh, Fort Varen. Oh, should I attempt it? This isn't meant to be picked. Hopefully I'll find a key. So we said something about the captain and the guard tower. of radiance. It's funny how I haven't picked up any of these things. This is like the... Uh, no, this is this person again. Just like the one at the Temple of Stendar. How come you're here? What a strange question. We've always been here. We're still locked in the temple's dungeon, and we're still praying on Piper's Hill. You're in Cold Harbor, and yet Cold Harbor also resides in you at the same time. You're neither here, nor there, nor anywhere else, and yet, here you are, and still not here. It's all a lie. Is there any way out of here? An easy one. Simply renounce your name. Become nameless, one with the chaos. Even Molek Ball's eyes can be fooled. But beware, no one will be able to distinguish you from the other nameless ones. And even if there was such a person, they'd be dazzled by your radiance. What do you say? Do you still want to do this? Will you crawl through the darkness with us? No. I stumbled into this place by myself, and I'll crawl out of it by myself, too. Ah, a wonderful mindset to have. Life cannot shine without it. Hmm. So I'm to take that the... whatever the... Whatever that Mansa is, is in two places at the same time. Giovanni's house. Giovanni. Giovanni is glad to see you again. Really? What happened to all the people in this town? Why do they all look like that? They were infested with leech parasites. Mm. They spread the plague. Mm. But Giovanni is all right because he does not drink dirty water. Well, that's good to know. What happened to Marso? Why does he look like that? Stupid Marceau. 
To steal the heart of Campanera, he borrowed power from Molag Ball. Of course. This form was the price. His soul was twisted, turned into a beast. Giovanni will also become like this. What? I'm sorry. Oh. This is Mosso. Oh, so you're going to become a small saber cat. I didn't even notice him there. All right. Wait, what are these? Hmm. Skill books. shame that I'm so skilled that they're of little value to me. I'm not sure what all these abandoned homes are about. What? Ah. So some hostility at last. Stendar, take you. Hmm, this used to be an Elysian worshipper. Slave trader's house. Can I pick this lock? Who is the slave trader, anyway? Uh-oh, I guess I'm about to find out. Art of the Aliens. Slave trader's note. A miserable bard, a poor storyteller with a boring tale. So, this person with an onion head for armor, is this the slave trader? Or is this a garlic head? I'm not sure. Oh, are you freeing me? I don't even know what happened that I ended up trapped here. What a rotten luck. Indeed. About that, where are your friends, actually? Well, we were supposed to meet at the Mafmalatu Priory. But who wants to listen to that grumpy old man there? What are you doing here? Oh, hmm, I don't quite remember. There was something about a slave trader and cheap booms. Where is that slave trader now? Hmm, when I woke up again, he was no longer here. Oh, what a bastard to lock me up in this hole. All right, well, you're free to go. I suppose I can take this coin back with me to, uh, the real world when we're done. Alright, I've just been aimlessly wandering, let's see. Oh, all these things. Our side quests. So now what happens?
Alright, so I need the key. should be here atop the tower. I hope he'll be willing to give me the key without violence. So there's another watchtower entrance. Perhaps I just went up on the wrong side. Captain. Be gone, swine, or should I tear you apart? You could try. I wouldn't advise it, though. Be gone, swine, or should I tear you apart? So it's going to be like that then. You're not giving me any choice but to kill you and you're not even fighting back. Here's the Fort Varen key. Hmm, scamp tail. What does this do? Ugh. All right, I've got the key now. my eye on you. But it said the key to Fort Varen. This might be the key to the gate, but I remember this being Fort Varen. Let's go in. This probably can't be good. Sure, what these 
teleportational spells are. A scamp war chief. So, they're all seemingly worshippers of Molag Ball. Stendar, take you. a bit chilling, I must admit. So, an Elysian priest. What's this? Blazing flames. This teleportation effect is. It's almost as though someone's spirit keeps jumping from one host body to another. Cleansing of the Fane. of Nern. What do we have here? Soul Shriven Remains. Well. charge the morning star All right, this can't be good. Screaming trap. Hmm. 
Welcome, Vigilant of Stendar. Once again, my name is Vernakis. Mm, I remember. I am the bane of Kain! You humiliated me before. Mm, indeed but I now, I will repay you a hundredfold! that. Some sort of charge attack. He's done. Hmm, Borlaw's bow. So he managed to defeat Borlaw? Look at this. Fire clutch of Orc Key Ring. Fire spells do 50% more damage. Damage taken is increased by 15. Why would anyone want something like that that would harm them? A piece of ball summons Vernacus. <laughs> like I would ever want him. Alright. Paralysis. And here's the book again, Vernacus and Borlor. But I've read it. Alright, Vernacus. been a pleasure again. And he did seem a bit stronger this time. I think I do need to go down there. Slow fall. And here we go. There. Bless you, Stendar, for granting me with so much power. Now wait, there was another door over here. Some sort of spider skeletons? Alright, I think that's the end of that. There is some sort of book here. Pelinal's death. I will take it. Suppose it could have some value. And we have an enemy here. Stendar's flames take you.
Mm, staff of firebolts. Hmm, no one else ready to spring out and attack me? <laughs> Jabal and the chickens. The Song of Palinol. Hovering Firefly. Interesting. All right. Let's see if I can get through this gate. Excellent. Let's see what lies beyond. 